the left hand side of the given result is equal to 16 times cos of 2 pi upon 15 times cos of 4 pi upon 15 times cos of 8 pi upon 15 times cos of 16 pi upon 15. Now multiply and divide this expression by sine of 2 pi upon 15. Now notice that in the numerator the expression in the brackets which is 2 times sine of 2 pi upon 15 times cos of 2 pi upon 15 is equal to sine of 4 pi upon 15. Therefore the left hand side is equal to 8 upon sine of 2 pi upon 15 times sine of 4 pi upon 15 times cos of 4 pi upon 15 times cos of 8 pi upon 15 times cos of 16 pi upon 15. Now again note that in the numerator the expression in the brackets 2 times sine of 4 pi upon 15 times cos of 4 pi upon 15 is equal to sine of 8 pi upon 15. Therefore the left hand side is equal to 4 upon sine of 2 pi upon 15 times sine of 8 pi upon 15 times cos of 8 pi upon 15 times cos of 16 pi upon 15. Again note that in the numerator the expression in the brackets which is 2 times sine of 8 pi upon 15 times cos of 8 pi upon 15 is equal to sine of 16 pi upon 15. Therefore the left hand side is equal to 2 times sine of 16 pi upon 15 times cos of 16 pi upon 15 in the numerator and in the denominator we have sine of 2 pi upon 15. The numerator is equal to sine of 32 pi upon 15. Now sine of 32 pi upon 15 which is the numerator can be written as sine of 2 pi plus 2 pi upon 15. Therefore the left hand side is equal to sine of 2 pi plus 2 pi upon 15 divided by sine of 2 pi upon 15. Now sine of 2 pi plus an angle is equal to sine of that angle. Therefore the numerator simplifies to sine of 2 pi upon 15. This divided by sine of 2 pi upon 15 is the value of the left hand side. This further simplifies to be equal to 1 which is the right hand side. This completes the proof.